Hi there, today we're unboxing a screen bar e-reading lamp by BenQ. So this particular lamp is used for reading near a monitor to avoid sort of glare on the screen. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. It comes quite nicely packaged in quite a large box. Quite a glossy package to it. Here's some details of how it sort of gets put together. And writing is in both English and Chinese, as you can see. Along the sides, we don't have anything on the sides. Details here. Retails for around £90 on Amazon. Okay, so let's have a look what you get in the packaging. So if I push here, pull it out, and do that. Okay, so this is... Not too sure, I guess. It's all in Chinese, so not too clear what that is. Um, and again, details here in Chinese again, so difficult to tell what that is. Okay, so this is the interesting part. So we've got a clip to actually fit the device onto your monitor. Okay, the actual item itself has a lot of weight around this area, so it's a bit of a counterbalance. So it hooks onto your monitor like so, and the LED light clips in here. So quite a good solid build to it. Got a bit of rubber in this area. So if I zoom in a bit just to show, and rubber there as well. And the rest, let's pull the plastic off. If I can just find the edges. Okay, just here, pull that off, gives you a better idea what it's like. So we've got a sort of matte finish there, and the build of it seems quite good, quite a good solid piece of equipment here. And it's a bit, bit of a spring motion there, so the spring's just in this area. So it just sort of comes over like so, and obviously weighs it down so it doesn't sort of fall off. Okay, so that's the actual clip. And then we've got the lamp. And looks like a USB cable, yeah. A USB cable to actually power it. And let's see if there's anything else in here. Nope, nothing else in it. Okay, so we've got the items laid out. So let's have a look at the bits and pieces. So obviously we've seen the counterbalance, the clip already. Um, the cable you get, the USB cable, seems of a really nice quality here. Nice chunky sort of connector on the end and a really nice flat cable on there, which I do like. I always do like the look of these um, flat cables. And again, seems like a good build quality and uh, logo on the actual connector, so that's quite cool. Okay, so the actual LED lamp, it's quite light, not too much weight to it. There's a sticker here, so let's peel that off. Okay, and that reveals some controls here. So if I come in a bit closer, there you go. Okay, and the actual light along here. Nothing too complex on this. Obviously these buttons control it. Got some, a serial number here. And that's all really, nothing more to say about this one. And the way it sort of goes together, obviously that's the actual power point on there. So we've got to sort of clip it in so it let me show if I go like that, like so. So it just sort of twists in and then it just holds into place. And obviously you've got the buttons to control it there. So that's how it sort of looks with it set up. And the only thing remaining with this is to plug in micro USB 
just here. So if I demonstrate that, that just literally just gets pushed in gently just into there. And that's it. That's the basics of it. And you can adjust it slightly if you want. So the way you want this is you want it to point straight downwards and avoid the glare going, the light going onto your actual monitor. So I'll show how to actually set this up on a monitor. Okay, just to show the actual controls you have on the actual screen bar. So the first one you have there is a manual dimmer. So you can actually adjust the brightness of the screen bar. And then here you've got a, a hue adjustment. So that's the actual color temperature. So you can actually have it for more of a brilliant white or if you prefer more of a sort of a natural tone, sort of a yellowy sort of color on there. So you can do that with that. And then just over here, you've got a light sensor so that will sense the amount of light in the room. And just here, you've actually got an auto dimmer so this works in conjunction with the actual light sensor and adjusts accordingly to the brightness in the room. And finally, you've actually got a power button. So as simple as that, not much to it, pretty basic. Didn't come with a set of instructions. It's actually printed straight onto the board here. So it gives you some details, basic ones about it. Okay, so I'm at my computer now and here's the screen bar. The other end, the USB end, is actually plugged into the computer, which is just down there. And very simple to place on your actual monitor. Counterbalance just goes at the back, and obviously this rest, if I can just show it, this rest just at the front of the monitor. So, if I take it now and place it over like so. So this is a 22 inch monitor. You've got about two centimeters on each side. So quite sufficient. Okay, so now the screen bar's in place, just there. Got our lamp here at the side, and let me turn that on. So if you're working away, you can see a slight glare coming onto the screen in the corner, for example. And sufficient area, obviously, just to work as you're studying. Now, if I turn it off, let's turn on the screen bar. And let's reposition the camera. There's no glare on the actual screen, if you see. So let's turn it off. So no eye strain at all. Now if I click the auto adjust on the top, so it uses the sensor obviously to recognize how bright it should make the light. And if I just adjust the camera, you can just see ample brightness just to work. And if you're studying, etc., it's a good good clear area to work on and now if I adjust sort of the hue on there you can see it changing more warmer color and then a more brighter whiter color okay in terms of brightness hang on let's go to plain white and then let's change the brightness on there There you go. Now it's coming back up again. And again, no impact on your vision looking at the screen at all. There you go. Okay, so I hope this video has helped anyone thinking of purchasing this particular screen bar. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.